do you guys feel you escaped with one tonight? I mean, uh, their bad snap on the punt, Kurt's fumble that wasn't a fumble, their missed field goal. I, I don't feel like we escaped with one. Uh, we played a really good football team tonight. Um, I said earlier in the week that they're better than their record uh, shows, and you know, we're gonna get everyone's best shot when they come in. I got it. We're gonna get everyone's. Can we start that again. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. Let me just get it right here. We're gonna get everyone's best shot when uh, they come in here to play us, and uh, they really did give us their best shot. And um, you know, I feel. I just told a couple of the guys on their team to just keep it together. They're a good, they're a good ball club, and uh, they just need to keep fighting. So you talk about their running back. He seems, you guys seem to really struggle to get him down, Baker kid. Um, yeah, you know, uh, we we struggled on tackling tonight, but uh, I don't know for what reason. But we're just gonna uh, go to practice and make sure we get that corrected because I think that was the first game where we probably missed our uh, tackling goal because we've, we've tackled uh, very well the whole season. Um, you're on a roll now. Does the bye week come kind of at a bad time? Absolutely not. Um, anytime you get a bye week, you can kind of get some guys back uh, that may have been hurt or playing through some injuries, um, get them a little bit more rest. Uh, actually, I think our bye week's at a, a critical time for the stretch that we're about to get into. Uh, so we just got to focus and work hard and practice during this bye week and uh, just Take care of what we have to take care of. Kyle, probably your best game as a Penguin. What, what do you think was the biggest play you made tonight? I don't. I don't even. I'm not even sure. I can't even think. Because uh, I haven't. You know, it's not like I can think of one specific play. It's just I'm just trying to play the best defense I can, taking care of what I have to take care of on any given snap. And uh, if I if an opportunity comes my way to make a tackle, I'm gonna make sure I uh, make it. How does the rain affect tackling at all when you guys are out there? You mentioned missed tackles. There are quite a few. You know, no, nah, rain shouldn't affect tackles. I mean, if you come to Youngstown, you better be prepared to play in the rain and the snow. So we just got to get it corrected and uh, get it taken care of. What do you do during the bye week? Not you per se, but what are you guys going to do? Well, I know what we used to do during the bye week. Uh, but, no, I think we're going to get – we're going to focus on getting some rest getting recovered and uh, focusing on what we got to take care of, meaning South Dakota, obviously they're our next game. So we get a little more time to prepare for them. Uh, film study is going to be critical in the bye week because it's not going to be the most physical week we're going to have. So it's going to be more of a mental preparation for this uh, upcoming game. Looks like you guys came up flat at all, or was, was Western Illinois today a better game plan? Said, not a better game plan, but a good game plan to kind of set them up for a good start. You know, they, they came out with a good good game plan. Um, you know, I don't think we really came out flat, but I mean, I don't think we have uh, definitely came out with our best effort in the first half or, you know, in the second half even, you know, there's, it's never as good as it looks and it's never as bad as it looks. So you just, that's when you hit the uh, film room and just take care of uh, the little things that you may have missed on the field, so. Uh, there's a big third down that YSU had third and seven or something that Martin breaks that 57 yard run. Are you at that point are you kind of thinking we're gonna have to go back out there and get a stop? Or do you remember that play? Yeah, I do. Uh, that play is absolutely huge. Every time anytime the offense can stay on the field and keep the ball keep the clock running, especially in a tight game like this in the second half, it you know it comes up big. It uh, kinda just I don't know, takes some pressure off the defense if they can keep the clock running. Uh, but at the end of the day, we knew we were going to have to go out there and get another stop. So, I think Baker was the first back in 13 games to get over 100 yards. Uh, just what they brought to the table was it was it their back to back weeks better than your own guys? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, back to back. Um, is it just something they're doing, or is it just their backs? I mean, two pretty good backs. Um, I think it came down to the missed tackles. Um, we had him, we had him bottled up. Miss the tackle here, and he gets some yards after the first hit, and you can't let that happen. Um, I know that the defensive line takes that very personally when someone rushes for 100 yards on us. I know it hasn't happened too many times here, so you know we're gonna we're gonna take care of that in practice too. You know we're gonna have a little fun with Coach Sims, so that's always a good time. <laughs>